Alright guys, here it is. Uh, it's definitely mail day, unboxing day. Some of this I have had for a minute and I apologize to Zod and Sonic Model for not getting them open sooner. I've been very excited, but I've had a lot of projects I've been working on. I'm sure you've seen The, um, the Apprentice. I lost the Neon Wing and I reviewed the footage and I was able to find the neon wing, but I also found two other aircraft. I found the Apprentice S-15 that somebody had crashed years ago, and believe it or not, everything still worked more or less. Um, so did some repairs, fixed the wing, and that's about ready to go up in the air. And also a Radian XL. Yes, and a Radian XL, and uh, same thing, just need to glue the wing together, and I just got some new CA, so that will be fixed also. And we have a ton of mail to go through, so let's do it. True. This is today's open box from Sonic Model. And I want to thank Sonic Model very much for sending this. I don't know what it is. It's a happy birthday gift, at least. What is this? It's an AR wing! Oh. Many of you, many of you, most of you know exactly what that is, and this is my AR Mini wing, and it's absolutely, without doubt, one of my favorite wings to fly. But what the AR wing comes with, let's take a look together. Boom. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Beautiful new straps just in from Sonic Model. Red, rubberized. There's some regular straps here that feel like they're rubberized on one side that you can use for smaller planes, as well as these nice thick red straps that are, you know, um, you could use these on your quad all day long. These are really, really nice. And here we go. I have one that I can show you. Check that out. How cool is that? So these are probably hot off the press over there at Sonic Model and very, very cool. Definitely recommend taking a look at these. They're more than likely on the site and live right now. So in here we've got your instructions. Row. Okay, so here's my motor mounts. Here's my uh there's the whole motor mount like firewall thing there there's screws there's um so you gotta push where all the clevises it looks like some wing locks like uh wing lock screws in there so so that we can take out the beautiful beautiful body wow you know it's funny i waited a few days before opening this oh god just like the mini only bigger and better this has the same style uh attachment there as the uh, orbit and things like that there's no uh, i don't see the side cam maybe it's on the wing let's take a look so there's your body let's take a look at so it. technically this is the right wing right here and that is where you have your FPV camera holder. And there is a very easy trail right there to follow with the wiring. So it makes it nice and super simple. Look, we have nice, beautiful, extremely flush hinging right there. Move away. All beautifully laid out. You can see there's room for days. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to make it my own as I always do. Like, and so that's going to fit together like that. And that's how it should go. Alright, I'm already loving it. Now next, I see we have the original battery strap. This is the very basic plain battery strap if that's what you want to go for or if you want to use it to hold other things. We have some Velcro here, and it looks like we have either enough wood to completely reconstruct the plane, or wood for, I think, any kind of camera that you could ever want to carry. Um, maybe this is to build a new house for homeless people. 
I'm going to have to read the manual to see what all of this is for. Beautiful. This is for the session, I'm assuming, or the run cam threes, and that is just freaking awesome looking and perfect. I love the niodium magnets as always. This looks like it will be for the run cams, these things like that. Absolutely awesome, beautiful front covers. Now, here's something I didn't expect. That is too cool. Usually for a part like this, if you didn't catch already, that's a bottom plate. Usually in order to get some sort of cover like this, you have to have a, you know, big expensive 3D printer, or you have to have one printed for you, or you have to purchase one. This comes with a strip of Velcro in the bag as well, I should mention. And for those landings on less than perfect surfaces, that's really, really, really awesome. This is something that will make your plane last so much longer and look so much nicer for so much longer. These are going to be the arm pieces. are absolutely beautiful. i try to get a look at those. And here's the cool part. I know a lot of people have been doing this as a mod. They've been adding this, you know, second layer of wood either to the inside or to the outside and painting it and doing it however. But that's cool that they add that. And I don't know if that's always been the case or if that's something new. It appears to be new to me for one reason. Tiny hooks. Do you see that little tiny hook right there? It is meant to just fit right in there. So this is your original outside, and now you've got these where you can make it as strong and rigid as you please. But it'll be a very simple build process, and I'm very excited to get this made. Again, Sonic model. You guys are the best. I cannot thank you enough. I thank you so much. You guys are always on point. And stop it right here and we're gonna start back up in just a second